Hey guys, so for today I have a video that has been pretty requested and I get a lot of questions about this topic. So I figured that I was just going to go ahead and film a my filming, lighting, and camera setup video. I know a lot of you guys have questions about my camera, my settings, my lighting, my filming setup. And so that's what I'm going to go ahead and show you guys today. I'm going to try my best to kind of give you all the little details about my camera, the settings, and everything like that. Let me just say, this is a super affordable, easy setup. I know everything looks perfect from this point on when you're just looking because this is all you guys see. But I'm going to show you guys the real raw truth behind the scenes of how everything looks. I know like I said this setup looks so perfect and everything but once you guys actually see how it is it is just it's not perfect at all I just went ahead and improvised with what I could I have a pretty small room so I just improvise every time that I film and um, I'm gonna keep it raw with you guys and show you guys exactly how my setup looks right now when I'm sitting down talking to the camera so hopefully you guys will enjoy this video before I actually go ahead and show you guys the clip of my lighting setup and everything I just want to click quickly apologize if the quality Quality goes down a little bit I obviously won't be able to film with my HD camera that I'm filming with right now because I want to film with my camera so I'm gonna be using this little Canon PowerShot um, camera to kind of film the setup just make sure to change the quality to 1080p and make sure that it is in HD for you guys to have the best quality to watch all right guys so you are looking at my setup right here this is how my setup looks. Basically what I do is I usually have my desk up against that wall over there, but when I film I don't want, I actually have a pink background straight ahead so I don't want that pink background because it messes with the saturation of my skin color. So I usually turn my desk so that I can get this nice background over here that I have with my dresser and my vanity and everything like that. So I usually turn my desk over there and I sit on that little stool over there. I got that desk from Walmart by the way. I sit on that little stool over there. Don't remember where I got it from. Um, and then I have my Alex five drawers over there where it's super convenient because as I'm filming I can just go ahead and pull out any makeup that I need. But yeah, like I said, so that is how my setup looks. Now for my lighting, I only use artificial lighting and as you can see that lamp over there. Um, I still do have my lights turned on. I'm, I'm missing a light bulb there. These are daylight white lighting. Um, you want to make sure that you get lighting that's temperature over 5000 so that you can have that perfect cool toned. Um, well, you don't want it too cool toned, but you just want that perfect natural lighting. You don't want anything too warm, so that's why I use the white lights. And then over here I have two huge windows. I'm not going to show them too much because I don't really want to show the outside of my house too much. But as you can see I do have two huge windows that I open the curtains and I open the blinds just so that I can get as much lighting in as possible, as much natural lighting. And then from there I turn on that lamp over there and that just helps kind of light up the left side of my face because I have the windows facing this way. I find that sometimes I get really lit up on this side of my face and then that side's kind of dark. So I have that lamp over there that I got from Walmart for $7. It just has the white light bulb in it. I just keep my brushes over there while I'm filming. They usually sit right there on my vanity but I change them on my little filming desk and I keep my MacBook and then I usually keep my everyday Muji drawer here just so that for those everyday products and I usually always keep my water bottle there. So yeah I guess we'll just go ahead and start with the camera. So the first thing you can see here is that I have a cord plugged in from my MacBook to my camera and I'll show you guys in a minute but that is just so that I can actually see myself film in my MacBook and it's just really easy because I'll, I'm able to kind of switch all the different controls and focus directly from my MacBook instead of actually Actually getting up all the time to focus and switch all the lighting options and all that stuff on my actual camera so now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera on and show you guys how it looks on the MacBook just so I can actually show you guys so I'm just gonna turn my camera on like that and you'll see that it's plugged in so you just go to your I just go to my EOS utility it comes with your camera by the way my camera is the Canon T3i so this comes with the camera I just take my EOS utility and I press camera settings and remote shooting. I just press live view shoot. 
and then you can go ahead and see me right there in the camera. So this is how I film. I film right in front of the camera, but I look down on my MacBook and I can kind of switch all the little controls. I can focus and everything like that. Let's just go ahead and I'll show you guys all my different settings. Like I said, I apologize for the quality of this. I know it's not in super focus, but that's just how this camera does it. So over here you have a focus button where you can just turn it on. And as you can see, my camera just auto-focused. And I usually keep my camera on auto-focus just because I don't want to have to keep getting up and turning the lens and everything. I want to just be able to do it right here. Um, also, for my white balance options, I have it on auto white balance. And I know there's different options like daylight, shade, cloudy, tuxin, fluorescent. As you guys can see, I can just change them all and it just changes the lighting, but I always just keep mine on auto because it detects that I have that natural lighting, so it gives me the best color representation. Over here you have the filming record button, so I just press record and it just starts recording. So this over here is where I kind of do most of my settings. Um, over here, as you can see, I have the auto white balance. And then over here is my ISO and my f-stop. Now to get that blurry background like I usually have in my videos, the um, low f-stop is what's going to get you that blurry background. Um, when you move your f-stop higher, you get a darker background. I'll just show you guys real quickly. If you move it higher, you'll see that I go darker in the background, and if I move it back low again, you'll see that I get that nice lighting. So you want to keep it on a lower setting just to get a nice lighting. However, if you don't want the blurry background, but you still want a light um, picture, then you would just lower, I mean, higher your ISO, and that way you can see it's really super white, and then you can higher your f-stop. So you can just really play around with your settings just to get what you want. I do recommend having an ISO of 800 and lower just because I'm not a camera pro at all, but I heard that the higher the ISO, the more pixelized the image is, so you'll kind of get, you'll see a lot more of those kind of dots all over the place. For the picture style, I have it on Faithful, and I'm not really sure if any of these other settings matter to you guys, but that's pretty much how my settings look. If you guys have any other questions down below on my settings, then just let me know and I'll be sure just to answer that because I'm not really sure what other settings you guys care about. But yeah, this is pretty much my entire setup. My camera over there is um, the 18 to 55 millimeter lens. A lot of you guys ask me what lens I have. And yeah, this is just my camera. It's the EOS Rebel T3i. It's nice because it has the flip screen, so you're able to flip it out from the back and kind of watch yourself film. So that's really good. This cord over here, I forgot to mention, it just came with my camera, to be honest. But I'm sure, I think it's probably like an, almost like an HDMI cord, but probably just for cameras and not movies and TVs. But I'm sure if you go to Best Buy or something and you ask them advice on what cord they, you guys would need, then that would help. And my tripod, I got it from Best Buy as well. I'll be able to link, direct links to the tripod and things like that down below. I don't have the exact name right now, but it's pretty good just because it's, you know, it holds up my camera, it works fine. The only thing I don't really like about this tripod, I don't really recommend getting it, to be honest. I would spend a little bit more money on a tripod if I knew um, how filming would be, but I was a beginner, so I didn't really know. But um, it's kind of very resistant, as you guys can see. It doesn't move very smoothly. So if I'm really trying to move it nicely, it kind of ticks like that. So that's just a little side note if you're thinking about this tripod, but hey, if you're a beginner, this tripod is pretty cheap and it works fine for me. But yeah, that is pretty much it guys for my lighting camera and setup filming video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope I answered all your questions. If I didn't, then just please don't hesitate to leave a comment question down below. So I really hope you guys did enjoy this video and I hope that it does help any beginners out there. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I will see you guys in my next videos. Bye guys. Mwah.